Welcome to the Prophecy Club. Our topic today is most important prophecy or prophetic warnings. And I think I've got a little bit of good news in all of this darkness today, and I'm going to start with that. First of all, one of the prophecies says, Victory. Donald John Trump sweeps the nation. Now, why is that a victory? Well, there's a lot of darkness ruling our nation, our government, our banking, our military, our uh, educational system, just about every phase of America has turned into corruptness. And of course, I do not think Donald John Trump is Jesus. I do not think he's perfect, but I do think he is in the best position to give us more time. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to give us more time. And I'm going to start with some of the positive news. I do believe that when he gets in, there's going to be massive arrests, massive arrests. That's what, I mean, I heard the audible voice of God tell me that when I was taking a nap uh, a year and a half ago. Massive arrests, massive arrests. There's going to be massive arrests. And I don't think they're going to be put in just civil trials. I think for the most part, they're going to be tried in military tribunals where they're taken off to a military base or a ship or... Uh, something where the military controls it and they are served up justice by the handfuls. Someplace in there, there's going to be a new currency and there's also going to be about four months of trouble in the trans... I'm talking about a financial storm. Uh, remember where the dollar is blowing worthless as leaves into the wind? That's all part of the transition from the old Bretton Woods dollar system to the new, or the new republic. It's not called new, it's called Republic of the United States. And I hear rumors, I do not know that this part is true, but my understanding is there's not supposed to be an IRS, I know you'd be saying hallelujah to that, no Federal Reserve, no Federal Government, what? No Federal Government? No, I think it's going to be a dictatorship. I mean, I think that I, ABC, CBS, NBC are telling us the truth when they say Trump, once he gets in, he won't ever leave again. I think that's probably true, and that's part of draining the swamp. Right now, if he only has presidential powers, he is limited in what he can do. But he has, if he has the king powers, as Henry Groover was shown, and if those powers are like Nebuchadnezzar's powers, whom he would, he slew whom he would, he kept alive, whom he would have lifted up, whom he would, he put down. And that's the kind of power it would take to truly drain the swamp. So there's going to be a massive draining of the swamp. Now, up to this point, that all sounds good. But you remember that Benjamin Fulford was told by one of the Molochs, we've ruled this planet for thousands of years and we'll destroy it rather than give it up. So that's where a lot of problems start. But continuing on the good news before I get all the problems, in all of this, miracles are going to return to the church. Mass revivals, sports stadiums filled, the pre-trib rapture finally is going to be debunked and disproven. I mean, obviously, when suitcase nukes goes off, also, as they pop, so does a pre-trib rapture. In other words, obviously, they were wrong in their misunderstanding. And I think that's going to begin to remove a lot of Christian walls. Right now, there are a lot of walls. Well, you're not my denomination. I disagree with you. You know, my pastor doesn't agree with you. And so Christians are divided. Now, the devil's crowd, they all work together. Uh, if they see things differently. That's fine. They all work together. So Christians are going to remove the walls, finally start working together, and millions are going to be saved. And according to Chris Reed, this takes place before August of 2025. So, basically, in the next 12 months is what he's saying. And he's been right on a lot of other stuff. So, I think he's one we got to listen to. So, some other things. Before August 2025, Trump is going to win the election. I'm not, by the way, I'm not saying any of this. God has not told me any of this. All I am is just delivery boy. I'm just saying that this is what the prophecies are saying. And, of course, when Trump wins the election... We Christians are going to say, hallelujah. But the devil is going to say, oh yeah? It's going to make Moloch and all of the left, all of the Dems, all of the evil people, and of course there's a lot of them in America right now, very, very angry. What are they going to do? 
Well, as I said, we've ruled this planet for thousands of years. We'll destroy it rather than give it up. And so they start destroying it. The dollar is removed. Both the, the white hats and the black hats are trying to remove the dollar right now. And in the death of the dollar, which is coming, remember Shane Warren was told that it'll be like uh, leaves blowing in the wind. So when it is removed, and it will be removed, you remember, uh, oh, what's his name? He was from South, uh, <laughs> too many years, too many years, too many speakers. Um, I, don't, I can't remember where. Okay, so anyway, he was told that a man went to a, a podium dressed like a dignitary, and he said, ladies and gentlemen, I have a, a an announcement to make. He said, the United States, as you have known it, has ceased to exist. Bingo, that's what we're talking about. All property lines are dissolved, and the U.S. dollar is worthless. We're probably going to see that. Now, again, I can't set dates, and none of this was given by me. I'm just delivery boy here. But apparently, this is going to happen as soon as the fourth quarter of this year, or the early, the first quarter of, of 25, but apparently it's going to be about four months of financial storm, so they say, and then America's, the ship is going to start riding. It's going to start pumping out the water, and it's going to start getting it now. It'll never be as good as it was again, uh, but all of this is necessary, and one of the prophecies said that the the suitcase nukes, of which we have now 36, 36 prophecies. Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let a thing be established. When you got 36 different people all saying the same thing, all saying suitcase nukes, that is not just a confirmed prophecy. That is God screaming at us that we need to make a change. And of course, America's not making change. As a matter of fact, let me tell you an example. So Tuesday night, I was pulling my shoes on, getting ready to go into the racquetball court. A couple of guys walked up. One of them I had uh, talked to briefly in the past. His wife is Chinese, and she has absolutely nothing to do with Jesus. And pretty much he has nothing to do with Jesus. He says, yeah, well, you know, I went to church a number of years ago, which was probably 20 years ago. Probably hadn't been back. But anyway, I turned to him. And sometimes I can't help myself starting these conversations. And I said, so are you a Trumper? Well, I voted for him for the first two times, but this time I don't think I'm going to vote for him. And I said, who are you going to vote for? He said, I think I'll probably write in my wife's name or something like that. And I said, well, what do you think is coming to the future? He said, I think it's a lot of bad stuff. And of course, they say this, but he's not interested in going to church. He's not interested in Jesus, reading his Bible, praying. He thinks his life is just fine. So that's pretty much the attitude with a lot of Americans out there. And sad to say, pretty much the attitude with a lot of Christians. And so God has got to shake this nation, and he's about to shake it very hard. People like him are going to have to be thrown on their knees before they start waking up and realizing that they are needing Jesus and needing him really bad. So the dollar has to be removed so they can bring in a new currency. This is the financial storm that Shane Warren talked about. This is also what Shane Warren and Chris Reed, both of them say, they saw signs, give us our entitlements, and I'm pretty sure Chris Reed didn't get together with Shane Warren. Shane prophesied this back in 2010, Chris Reed has just been prophesying these kind of things that I know of for the last couple of years. So here they are, got two different people saying basically the same things. That is God screaming at America, but we're not listening. Then, of course, in all of this, the suitcase nukes. As Vicky was told, the suitcase nukes are really the beginning of the fall. Now, remember, the angel spoke to Dimitri and said the fall of America will start with an internal revolution started by the communists. Now, is a bunch of people being arrested the internal revolution? I'm going to show you why I don't think so. I, 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 pray, I pray it's not yet. I pray we have more time. But 
Omar ushers in Palestinian state. We've not seen that. That's one of the warnings. Catastrophe hits America, which we believe that's to be a New Madrid earthquake. We have not seen that either. So in my opinion, until we see a Palestinian state given, and I believe we'll see the headline, Omar ushers in Palestinian state, I don't think that we're going to see the internal revolution. However, now we do know that this war with Israel continues. And they keep saying that they're doing all of these big negotiations behind closed doors. And they're not going to tell anybody anything about what's going on. Okay, so since I believe that part of the conclusion of the October 7th war is going to be the Palestinian state, is going to give Israel access to the Temple Mount back, is going to give Israel back a lot of their land. I don't know if it's going to be all of the land, probably not yet, because the Bible says in 12.3, it says, I'll bless you that bless you, curse thou, I will curse them that curse you. And there's another scripture that says that their land is from the Euphrates all the way over to the Nile. Well, the Nile is about a third of Egypt, and the Euphrates is all of Jordan, and about a third of Iraq, and I think that that's going to be the secret weapon that Israel pulls out and just devastates all of the Islamic. These Muslims that they think they want to kill Israel, well, look, Israel, America does not have a guarantee. We do not have an everlasting covenant. Israel, I should have looked that up and given you the scripture, but Israel does. Israel has an everlasting covenant. As long as there is a sun, moon, and the stars, there will be an Israel. Okay, so uh, that would mean, okay, so Islam, you want to attack Israel? Go for it. You wish you hadn't, because America may not stand behind her. She won't. She eventually turns her back to Israel, as we've kind of already done. But God is going to stand there. And if he has to send an angel or angels to see that Israel exists, that's exactly what he's going to do. And I'm going to show you about that in just a second. Now, the internal revolution prophecies have not started. So... It could very well be that sometime between the counting of the owner, on, the counting of the Omer in 2025 is from uh, April the 15th to June 1st. April 15th to June 1st. So that's a very good time for them to settle that October 7th war, giving the Palestinian state and us seeing Omer ushers in Palestinian state about that time a new Madrid earthquake hits, about that time the dollar is in the process probably at that point, still in the process of falling, give us our entitlements. And that give us our entitlements, I think that that means that they're basically going to cut off all government checks. I think Trump is going to say, look it, we're not going into debt to give away a bunch of free money anymore. You have to fend for yourself. And there's going to be a lot of angry people. There's going to be a lot of people that said, look it, we said our life savings, we said a lot, thousands of dollars into the government. We are entitled to our checks, and to a certain degree, I agree with that. There are a lot of other people who get a lot of freebies, a lot of other people that can't provide for themselves, but nevertheless, give us our entitlements as saying, basically, government cuts off to all checks. And so if you're expecting a check from the government, you better start not expecting it to come. You should start expecting it to come this month, uh, hopefully you have a few months before it's actually cut off. But there's a lot of changes that we all need to get ready for. I think, I think I'm ready, but there'll be a time when I look back and I say, I wasn't ready, okay? So now let's talk about the suitcase news. Now that we have 36 prophecies, 36 prophecies, 36. We started warning about it in 1998 when Stanislav Lunev came to speak at Prophecy Club, the highest Russian uh, military officer to ever defect to America. Okay, so what does that mean? Suitcase nukes go off. As uh, Dana Coverstone saw, there would be this gray stuff, saw it in two different dreams, gray stuff on the ground. It wasn't snow, this gray stuff. Well, what is that? It's fallout. It's ash from nuclear bombs sucking all of the whatever it, it is there, not just dirt, but concrete and steel and body parts, everything else, up into the air, and then distributes them 
That's the ash, the gray ash. And when that happens, it sends out an EMP, which by the way, if you want your cars to start, this gizmo here is what you put on your car. Also put one on your house. You can get it at empshield.com. empshield.com. And if you use the promo code Prophecy, yeah, it helps your Prophecy Club, but it gets you a $50 discount. They have videos up there showing you how to install in your cars. I mean, I'm not a mechanic, uh, and I put it in both my car and also my house. So not that complicated, not that difficult. Cars won't start. Also, the electrical grid goes down. I heard one place that said if the electricity goes off in America, that within a year, there would be 10 million people die. Well, if it's only 10 million, that's probably a low figure. I mean, think about it, because what happens? Food spoils. That's what Dana Coverstone saw. He saw the um, vultures with rotting food in their mouth. Well, why is that? Well, about three or four days after electricity goes off, the food in the refrigerator or freezer reaches room temperature. So everybody got to gobble it down or throw it out. And of course, a few days later, they got to throw it out. And that's what we're talking about. We're probably talking about this possibly. Now, again, I'm not setting a date, and God has not told me any of this, okay? So I'm just a watchman. Ezekiel 33, 6 tells me that I'm commanded to warn you. If I don't warn you, then your blood is on my head. So I'm warning you. If you want to laugh at it, go ahead. But you'll, you'll come back to the day you wish you hadn't. Food spoils, electrical grid down. That means that probably you're heating your house, you're air conditioning your house with electricity. Have you made provisions to at least heat your house? Now, maybe the electricity's off and you can't get air conditioning. It may be very uncomfortable, but you probably won't die. Now, some people will die from the heat, of course, but most people won't. But there will be people die from the extreme cold. So I'd suggest strongly that you make plans for that. Next thing is massive food shortages. Okay, so just like you have to throw your food out, same thing with all the grocery stores. Three to five days after electricity goes off, they're throwing all of their food away. And they're saying, no, it's bad, you can't eat it. So that's a big problem. Computer chips, fried I mean, like, probably I won't be able to have a program. I mean, I make this off a computer. I, I upload it and communicate it around the world to computers. It comes off computers, 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 cell phones, everything, all of that. All gone. Gone, gone, gone. Not returning. Probably not returning in our lifetime. Massive job and income loss. Okay, so if there's no electricity, how about your job? Would your job be gone, no electricity? My job would be. My guess, most jobs would be gone. If you have a technical job, if you need your computer, if you need internet, if you need cell phones, if you need phones, if you need electricity at all, which most jobs these days do, you lost your job. So do you have something put back so you can at least eat? And of course, I'll send you to josephskitchen.com josephskitchen.com. In 2021, I started making bread. And long story short is I believe God showed me that wheat is God's famine food, just like it was famine food back in the seven years of plenty, seven years of famine, days of Pharaoh and Joseph. And I believe that that's what God has planned to feed his people. And you get it by going to josephskitchen.com. Three steps. First, you want to get a machine package. Second, you want to order six ingredients and watch some videos, download the recipes to be able to make the bread. josephskitchen.com. Most of your long-time storage food, emergency food, all of that typically are talking $9,000, $10,000 to feed one person for a year. Joseph Kitchen can show you how to do it for around $1,000 a person and your kids will actually eat it and it's actually good for you. Here's some bread that I made. In my case, I lost weight, lowered my blood pressure, gives me more energy. I eat morning, uh, slice in the morning, slice in the afternoon. There's always a slice before I go play racquetball. Go check it out, josephskitchen.com.
Kitchen.com. And right now, Joseph Kitchen has a summer blowout going on. They're offering red wheat at half price. Basically, buy one pail, get one pail free. Buy one pail, get one pail free of red wheat. JosephKitchen.com. Okay, radio and television out. No electricity. Radio and tissue, television is gone. Out. There's no information. There's no explanations. There's no, everybody's running around. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. What do you heard? I don't know. I ain't got nothing. That's a problem. Are you ready for that? I want to think I am. I said I want to think I am. Also, it means that you're probably not going to get any gasoline. If you get any gasoline, it's because you sucked it out of the ground through a pipe. Now, there'll be some people doing that. But you don't need to suck it out of the ground if your car doesn't start. And so that's another reason you want to have one of these. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you know, when you got 36 prophecies, we got 14 saying there's food shortages, uh, two saying gasoline's cut off. Also, waterborne illnesses, deaths, rampant. Because they think, oh, well, you know, I'm thirsty and I guess I'll just have to drink this bad water. Oh, well, you know, it's just rainwater came off the roof. Yeah, well... Maybe that's clean, and maybe that's not clean these days. Matter of fact, a lot of times it's not clean. So is that a problem? Potentially, yes. Now let's go to the next question. What is the event? Probably suitcase nukes or a New Madrid earthquake, which are probably closely associated. Part of the prophecy said, the enemies are inside your walls. Take down your country from the inside out, then the outside in. Some serious event happened in the nation before the elections, before the elections, before the elections, November 2024. Okay, so I'm recording this about the 1st of August, August, September, October, as in like the next 60 days, he says some serious event's going to hit. Now, I want to believe that it was the assassination attempt of Donald John Trump. That's what I want to believe. I want to believe it's already hit. But based upon what those prophecies say, it doesn't sound like that was the serious ex- event. Now, what is the serious event? Well, you know, I keep asking God, and He just sees fit not to tell me. But my guess would be possibly suitcase nukes, New Madrid fault. I, I don't want to believe those are coming that soon. Or maybe it's some other big serious event. I don't know. They need some sort of big event on the scale of World War II or some large event that's equally disruptive to bring in a new financial and government system. Not just financial, but also a new government system. World government, that's what they're working for. Now, let me tie this together here. We've covered this countless times. Hopefully you have written these words down. If you haven't, you're going to regret that. You should write those down. You should pause and write them down. So this is 2002, Leslie was given a dream, and she was shown that Arafat would die in the hospital. Well, at the time, he wasn't allowed outside of his compound. So April 15, 2002, that was a very big and risky prophecy, but I put it out anyway, and about two years later, 11.04, 11, 3.30 a.m., Arafat died in the hospital, just as she was told. Now, the way these prophecies work is you don't get part of it that's true and part of it that's not true. If part of it comes to pass, it means all the rest of it is going to come to pass. This one is a confirmed prophecy. means you can count on these words. Write them in stone. This is going to happen. That Israel will give the Palestinians a state. That's the very thing Israel right now says we're not going to do. And that's the very first, very thing that America and Trump is saying they're going to do. They all are for a two-state solution. That means giving the Palestinians a state. And part of that probably will also be giving the Muslims the permission to have a caliphate. In other words, the leopard of Daniel chapter 7. And that's also probably right after that, the forming of the world government and also getting the Temple Mount back access to the Jews. The Palestinian state be a temporary measure to allow the Israelis time to strengthen the military, then oil will be discovered in Israel. And I think I know who is going to be discovering that oil. I think that that's going to be part of the second exodus. If you watched yesterday's program where I buy an, uh, a, 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 an airline 
and fly Christians and Jews from around the world. God's got it all set up. Eddie Chumney is going to be the guy that I'm going to put on global radio and TV telling Christians and Jews that if you want to fly to Israel, go to this website, blah, 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 blah. That oil is going to make the Jews willing to fight for the land. That Israel and America will go against most of the rest of the Arab world. I do not think that is Armageddon. I do think that that is when Israel is going to get back all of the land from the Euphrates all the way over to the Nile. Let's keep going here. About out of time. Then, January 2, 20, 2006, she heard the audible voice of God say, now the first thing she heard was Israel refuses help to America. So we do not know the order. Then the next thing she heard was Omer ushers in Palestinian state. But I think that this would be the order that they are fulfilled, but I don't know. But we're looking for Omar ushers in Palestinian state. Catastrophe hits America, and our best guess is, is that's the New Madrid earthquake. One of America's greatest times of need. These are newspaper headlines. And June 27th of 2008, the same night he told me, Stan, I will give you the money to drill the well in Israel. I also saw Leslie holding up newspapers with these headlines on them. So I can verify God has spoken these headlines to her. You should write them down word for word, including the date. Okay, Israel refuses help to America. Israel has attacked America since troops. So this catastrophe hits America is something that really takes America down. It could be the suitcase nukes. It could be a New Madrid earthquake or both hitting at the same time. But then Muslims see their opportunity to attack Israel. America sends troops. Chaos reigns as Americans protest help to Israel. When I was a boy, we would have never seen that protest help to Israel. But today, there's so many people that are not Christians, people of other gods that think in terms of the natural ways and not through God's eyes. Then finally, she heard my voice quoting Dimitri, the fall of America will start with an internal revolution. Now, I'm going to conclude with this because this ties it together. March 25, 22, Chris Reed saw an angel standing with a $50 bill. He tore off a third of it. Then people started handing him headlines. I know I'm going a little long, but this can tie together. It's important, okay? Headlines. First headline, U.S. dollar drops 30% in value. Subtitle, Middle Eastern oil strikes deal with China instead of the U.S. That happened June 9th, 2024. That, now we haven't seen the headline yet. But the agreements behind the scene have been signed. Perfect storm. Subtitle, inflation reaches new high. We've seen inflation go up. We haven't seen this headline yet. We may see these headlines in the next few months. Food shortage crisis as wheat and bread imports are at a stalemate. That confirms what Dana Coverstone saw. He saw that uh, there were no ships moving at sea. Why is that? Probably because suitcase nukes went off. And people don't know what they're going to... It probably just will freeze the whole world economy. Then, the angel stood before him again, now had the dollar bill that only had two-thirds left, and he tore that in half. So it's the dollar goes down by a third, by a third, down to worthless, okay? Headline was, riots and civil unrest as citizens demand entitlement checks. That's the same thing Shane Warren said. An earthquake happened under his feet. So as they're complaining about entitlement checks, now my guess is that's got to be after Trump is in charge. And that may be from the election, or that may be before the election. I don't know. We'll watch. Israeli-Palestinian two-state solution reached. Of course, that's Omar Usher's in Palestinian state. Major earthquake hits the middle of the U.S. That's probably catastrophe. See how these fit together. Catastrophe hits America. America in Pieces, subtitled More States Secede from the Nation in Rebellion to the Federal Government. We haven't seen states secede from the nation yet, but I can tell you that Governor Abbott and the Texans are about fed up with Biden. And I'm surprised it hadn't already happened. And believe me, Texas will do it. U.S. military takes charge as uncertainty looms over the federal government. That sounds like an internal revolution. So all of this sounds like we could see the internal revolution in the first, or maybe if we're lucky, the second quarter of 25. Then I saw a new dollar bill, like a cell phone, with George Washington's face on it, 
Headline, new currency for a renewed nation. So that tells me that the new currency is going, the new currency is probably going to be coming out in the second quarter. Remember, all of this is supposed to be done by August. Second quarter, maybe at the latest, the third quarter. And then the last one, simplicity restored as Americans begin to grow their own food again. Why? Because there's food shortages. They've lost confidence. The electricity's off. They can't get food at the grocery stores anymore. So they say, I'm going to grow my own food. I'm telling you, you better go to Joseph Kitchen. Josephskitchen.com. You better have some wheat. It might be you eat the wheat or it might be you plant the wheat. And the wheat that Joseph Kitchen sells is, I think, what they call certified. It's where the farmers go to buy their own seed to plant. So you can plant it and it'll grow. Josephskitchen.com Also, recommend you go to empshield.com, promo code PROPHECY. And also recommend you go to prophecyclubgold.com and prophecyclubbar.com. Get yourself prepared, my brothers and sisters. Get prepared. If you don't want to lose your life's savings, if you have an IRA or a 401k, the thing to do is call 800-200-GOLD. 800-200-GOLD. These folks are Christians and they specialize in helping people not lose their life savings in the event of a stock market crash and things like that. Look, most of the 401ks, most of the IRAs are in paper, backed by paper. And as Lindsey Williams says, if it's in paper, it's worth the paper it's written on. You can lose it all. 1-800-200-GOLD. 800-200-GOLD. Hey, give them a call. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't cost you anything. See if they can give you some good advice. <laughs> 